Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. Today's video is going to be a clean with me video, but more focusing on bathroom cleaning and kids' room clean with me. The kids have been unwell. So I really wanted to get in and give the bedrooms a clean, a sanitize, as well as the bathrooms, just to make sure that I get rid of all the bugs. Now this video is a collab video with a friend of mine, Morgan, from Life Happens Here. She has done a clean with me video as well to give you twice the cleaning motivation today. Morgan is a mum of three little kids and on her channel you will find loads of clean with me videos to give you loads of cleaning motivation. She also does cleaning routines, 20 22 laundry routines speed cleaning declutter and organize and decorate with me videos so if you haven't checked her out yet make sure you pop over at the end of this video and say hi to her and let her know that i sent you over her link will be in the description box below now i did buy this pino clean multi-purpose cleaner it's in the apple fragrance i thought it smelled quite nice at the start but after spraying like all the bathrooms and the bedrooms the smell got a little too much so i think i might try a different scented one next time but you're so right we're losing track of time buying things online and it's not like we need them we don't need them so can we just slow I'm using the Method Glass Cleaner in the scent of mint. I'm really liking this product at the moment. It's a real nice smell and it's not overpowering, which I really like. Now all we need is right here in front of us. In front of us. So can we just stop? So I was watching one of Emily Norris's videos and one of her tips was to put one of these toilet discs on the top of your bin to keep your bin smelling nice but I don't have a top for this bin in here so I thought I'd just put it on the side of the cabinet and to see if I can keep it smelling a little bit nicer. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
now that I'm done cleaning the bathroom I'm going to get into the kids room clean with me and if you are new to this channel I'd just like to introduce myself a little my name is Charmaine Rosalie I'm a mum of two little boys and on my channel you'll find loads of clean with me video to give you lots of cleaning motivation you'll find speed cleaning laundry motivation laundry routines morning routines bathroom cleaning and loads more so if these are the type of videos that you enjoy watching please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my content i really hope this video is getting you motivated to get up and clean and sanitize with me if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up That's made up, baby, that's made up. So I washed my son's bedding a few days ago because it needed to be washed but somehow in the washing machine it's worked itself inside out and I didn't check to see if it was washed properly. So you'll see me taking it all back off again and putting it in the wash. I've just laid his dinner out for now but I did end up giving him just some blankets for the night and I washed his cover again and put it on the following night. Let me know have you ever had this problem as well? Hit that thumbs up if you have. Now once I did finish cleaning the bathrooms and the bedrooms, I did go through with the Glen 20 and just give the rooms a quick spray just as an extra precaution to make sure I get all those germs. Now with the sheets I normally make sure that the tag is down the bottom on the I guess the right hand side when you're looking at it but with the mattress protector it actually needs to be on the left that's why I put it on the wrong way. Now tell me is there a certain way that you put your sheets on your bed? And the California roll I'm still thinking whether this is really the easier way to do it. If you don't have the strength in your arms to shake the bed spread out then I would say it is a lot easier because you don't have to use your arms as much to do it. But just doing it, it's really amazing how it actually works itself out and ends up flat, bright on your bed. Let me know if you've actually tried this. And if you have, are you still doing it this way?
really appreciate you clicking on my video today and spending some time with me. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!